Hello, you guys. <laughs> your girl Eunice here, and I'm filming this from my phone. But I wanted to come on really quickly to share something with you guys. As you guys can obviously tell, my faux locks are not in. Um, I actually washed, conditioned my hair, and then I just um, twisted it up and stuck it underneath here because I'm going to run to the store real quick and come back. And then I'm going to be putting some like really chunky, kinky twist in my hair um, just as a quick style because I did not expect to take my hair down today. Okay? If you follow me on Instagram, I said that my faux locks were coming out. They will be coming out pretty soon. I just didn't expect to do it today. Okay? The reason why I took my faux locks out today is because I last week took out a braid in the back. I took out a braid back here. And I was like, you know what? I know I have them in for about three months. And you got to be careful with faux lock because they will like gnat upon you like any hairstyle you have for too long it will gnat upon you and I have not retouched the back of my head like I said I only retouched the front because the process of retouching is so like crazy right so last week I took out a braid back here and it was fine the hair was not matte it was like starting to matte but it wasn't like nothing that I can like quickly untangle detangle or whatnot so this morning I just went back here and I felt and I was it just felt like ball of hair so I was like let me take down the braid in the back. Took down the braid in the back and my hair had a mat. Like the hair was matted in the back of my head. Um I didn't lose I didn't lose any hair. I didn't have to cut any hair out, but I just decided to take them all out because Number one, I know better. Me being a stylist and a cosmetologist, I know better. You're not supposed to keep your braids in or at least locks in that long, the faux locks, because they they can cause your hair to matte unless you're every month going through taking out your hair and reconditioning it and all that. And I do do that with my natural kinky twist or whatever I wear. But it's just the process of taking down the faux locks and putting them in. It is horrendous, okay? So right now, I just have my little bonnet on. My hair is all nice, detangled, conditioned shampoo. And it took me four hours to take down those damn faux locks. Never again. But in a full video, I will be explaining to you guys the process. We're going to talk about the whole thing about me and this faux lock. And what I learned from the journey of wearing a faux lock, putting them in my head. And all that, but um, I'm gonna run to the store really quickly, and then I'm going to actually start to put in some like chunky kinky twist, cause I wanted some chunky kinky twist for some time now. So I'm gonna put in some like chunky kinky twist. Yeah, and I don't think I have any more brown hair, so I think they're just gonna be all blonde, cause I really don't want to go and spend any money on hair, and I really want to put something quick in my hair that I don't have to worry about for like the next, for like a week or so until I figure out if I want to like redo it or something, you know. But my hair is cool. I didn't lose any hair. I'm so happy I didn't have to cut nothing out. But we'll talk about that in another video. So yes, and I will see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.